Elsewhere on my website you'll find videos talking about the advanced therapies for Parkinson's, so this is brain surgery and uh, the infusion therapies. Um, this video is actually just, uh, if you like, a bit of an update about some of the newer technologies. Patients sometimes ask me, Simon, should I go ahead and have my deep brain stimulation surgery now or are they about to invent something that's better? And I think the truth is that um, people always think they're going to invent something that's better and you're often better off just going with what we have available now. It's a bit like when Windows always updates their software and it's uh, a bit of a complication. But there are two things that I wanted to just um, bring across to you. One of those things is a little bit on the never-never but will eventually arrive, um, and the other one has arrived. So talking about the, the technology that hasn't yet arrived, or at least not made it into widespread clinical practice, I wanted to talk about a thing called closed loop deep brain stimulation, or closed loop DBS. And really this kind of comes back to, if you like, some of the if you like, natural way the body should work, the physiology of the body. And effectively, if you think about this, when a person has deep brain stimulation at the moment, what we do is we'll put the electrodes in and then send an electric current through the brain tissue that is at the same level 24 hours a day. Now we've seen in the infusion spaces that actually you can now program some of those pumps to have a different flow rate during the day, and say during the night time when you're asleep, if you wanted to use the therapy overnight. And that raised the question in deep brain stimulation, well, why should it be the same all of the time? And the closed loop aspect of this technology is saying, well, is there a way that we could listen into the brain's activity, given that we have electrodes that are deep in the brain, and determine how much of that stimulation you need basically from second to second, so that if you were sleeping it would allow you to have less of that electricity flowing through your head and when you're awake you may need more. Now, people have been talking about closed loop DBS for at least a decade. Um, certainly in the research space, this is an area that we're very interested in, especially for some of the intermittent symptoms, the paroxysmal things like freezing of gait, where you might say, hey, let's detect what's going on in the brain, change the settings for those few seconds. But as I stated, this closed loop DBS is a technology on the horizon, uh, and it's not clear that that horizon is very close, um, but we wait. The other um, advance which actually is here um, and has arrived is a thing called directional deep brain stimulation or directional DBS. So at the moment um, when we put in the electrodes and um, we'll have points along the electrode where effectively the electricity comes out from and that comes out very evenly like a sphere from whichever contact points you're stimulating at the time. And that is very good. But it did raise the question, um, is that the right thing to do? And the, raise, the question was raised really because in some patients when you stimulate more and that sphere gets bigger, their physical symptoms get be uh, better, but you might trigger off side effects. So for example, they might find their tremor is better, but maybe their speech becomes slurred because some of this field is going to the bit you want to stimulate, but some of it is affecting tissue that you don't want to stimulate. So then fast forward to the idea of directional DBS and what we're seeing here is effectively taking that electrode and putting three contact points pointing in different directions at that level. Again, for the four contact points that we normally have. What that allows us to do is to say, well actually I'd like to stimulate in that direction but not so much in that direction. And what this will help us to do, I think, in the future is to optimize deep brain stimulation uh, for patients who've had it uh, so that we can actually see uh, an improvement in their symptoms without causing too, many way in, uh, too much in the way of side effects.